right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nate. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, we are set for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones Jones! Herbert Dean's in the building. Ready He's fight. the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, early round action here. Perhaps Tom Aspinall could win this fight if it was just a kickboxing match, but he has got a decided grappling advantage, and most people believe eventually if this fight hits the floor in transition, Tom Aspinall will be able to find the submission. Kick lands flush. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Beautiful transition. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Aspinall. Always offensive. Lands a shot to the bottom. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. 
good job understanding the transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Aspen. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Aspinall's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landed huge garlic bomb. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Mm, nice. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Right, there by the champ. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound up Coleman as he lands again. Coleman somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh. In the half guard. 20 seconds left. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Horn oh, set for the end of round one. All right, take a seat, buddy. Deep breath. Breathe. Through that nose, out that mouth. Listen up. Listen. Your kicks are working out. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his Ready approach in that ground and pound sequence. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice combination, yes. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victories. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know that Jones is trying for the Kimura submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. He's up. What submission defense on this play? Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Aspinall. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You, you to get to your knees position. and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Oh, 
All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loves I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big Great shots. Fight. One big right. enough to open up a nasty right. cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut on his cheek. I'm just saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> Aspinall gets caught by that straight punch. you got to do better than that defensively. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, oh, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skate. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go get it. You got to go find his business. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go hurt you as you hurt him. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Big shot to the head. Oh, and There's that hook again. This time it's blocked. that leg kick. Oh, good block there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Jones's eye now closing up. Swing and a miss by Aspinall. Guillotine jump. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's got to lock that guard and drive his hips up into his opponent. Aspinall's in half goal. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Jones is right back to the full mount. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. Change of the position. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jones. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head. And he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when we get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. 
lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swing. He can't miss it. And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Taken down by Jones. Let's go. Get him All right, side control now. Here and he does. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Working on a finish the heel hook. He's got to secure the legs and keep the hips past the knee if he wants to get a finish. Oh, what a move as he escapes. I mean, he counters it, and now he's putting him in his own submission. How about it? This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. Jones is looking for an arm bar here. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Working very hard to get this arm bar. As close to the finish, he's got to extend the arm to get him to tap. Oh, looks tight to me. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Aspinall's got the full mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Aspinall's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. So there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep Ready, submission. Fight. Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Good jab. That leg kick hurt. Hands up, hands up. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice take down. Is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. All right, working for the submission now. Back and forth we go. Back and forth. These guys are fighting. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? 
All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guy's gonna start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. with the ground and pound here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, oh, the submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.